Subscribe to our YouTube Club 520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> Obviously, we got to talk about these up here. Which one would you say was harder to get? Because y'all both had there was legendary runs for both of them. What championship would you say was a little tougher than the other one? Um, it's different and it's hard to speak on that because again, at one point I was 21 years old. Mm -hmm. And the other one I was 34. Um, so different times in my life. Uh at 21, playing, I think we played 26 games and win. We went to went to the Hawks seven games, uh, Detroit six, Cleveland seven, and then uh LA six. So uh, I think it was like 26 games, and, we, and that was, like I said, every game. And, and, you know, if you play in the playoffs, like, it's the highs and lows. You win one, you you up here, yeah. you lose, you're like, shit, no, I can't eat, don't talk to me. <laughs> um, you know, when when do we play again? That's the yeah. mindset. So it was like, uh, for me, that was a tough one mentally to get through because, again, like I said, we had seven games damn near every time. And then, like I said, that seven game, it's, it's do or die. So that yeah. mindset, nigga, I, and I loved it. I think I thrived the most when it was game seven, so it was them type of pressure game because I wanted that moment. But uh, I had a great cask around me. I mean, like I said, it, I felt like the pressure was all on me, but it wasn't in a sense because everybody was starring their role and were able to be great, and we didn't have to do it all. Being coached by one of the best motivators uh, and exing those guys, Doc Rivers. He's catching so, a lot of heat lately. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. You know, but again, like, I, I feel like players make the, the, the coaches in a sense. You know I mean? You can't do shit without talent. And the year before, again, we lost 18 straight with that team with Doc. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get you get a mix, a couple of Hall of Famers, the right chemistry, Thibodeau coming that motherfucker. Shout out to Thibodeau. Tibbs. Tibbs. Um, yeah. Defensive, you know, juggernaut. And we were able to mesh, man. We had great leadership. Uh, guys that sacrificed <laughs> and bought into one another. It wasn't uh, no egos at all that particular year, and we we figured out and made it work. We had a group, a group of um, older guys with the big three, and then we had a young guys: me, Tony Allen, Leon Poe, Perk, yeah, y'all uh, bench Gabe was crazy. Pruitt, you know what I mean? Eddie House, Jane Posey. So we we were deep, uh, you know, and it, and it felt good. Paul, <laughs> we, <laughs> we was, um, you know, and it felt good to run that that table. But the bubble was completely different too, though. I mean, like I said, we isolated. Um, no motivation really in the sense of just like nigga check ball. It was it was me against you. It wasn't no fans, it wasn't no the extra shit on the side, it wasn't no distractions really because we were able to lock in and hoop and play basketball. So I feel like we were always be able to be at our best in a sense. For sure. And everybody talk about that bubble basketball. Y'all was damn near living in the dorms. Everybody was just on Amazon packages and pack just hooping. Like that was like the purest form of basketball. I don't know why people be trying to discredit the bubble ring and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm like, nah, niggas had to really just sit there and hoop, bro. Yeah, you know, I mean, it was it was check ball classic, for me, if you ask me. I mean, it wasn't no, like I said, wasn't no, no extra shit. You check ball, you you played against each other. And then, like I said, in the playoffs, that's when to me, Murray went crazy. Like, yeah. That's when I was like, oh, this nigga for real. Like, yeah, I didn't even know. He was hooping. So he went crazy on us. He he destroyed us. Like we couldn't check him. He had a move on me so fucking cold, man. Y'all gotta find this clip. Luis. This is in the ball, but he went, I, I feel like I got him. Got him. <laughs> Top of the key. I think he ISO boom. He go to cup. He drive level something. He went up with his right hand. I contested it, bitch. He flipped, switched it, threw it up with his left, hit that bitch. I was like, this nigga is I can't, I can't get him. Yeah. Next, who next? I can't. <laughs> I, I thought I can stop. We need a big guard on him or something, man. Come here, Brian. Come on. Shit. <laughs> what was you listening to before the games? What music was you tapping in? With? Uh, I'm more of a chill, laid back, maybe R&B, you know what I mean? Like, for the hoop session? For the hoop session. But I really started to play chess before the games um, at times my later in my career. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like to just be kind of a level-headed mind to where I don't want to be up, I don't want to be amped. Like, I want to exert all my energy once I get to the court. Who like, your favorite R&B artist? Usher. Respect. Oh, Usher. listening to Usher before you went out to kill niggas is crazy. No, nah, I'm gonna say that. I would have never thought Sean Nicholas was listening to Usher. Plus, the niggas and shit. I never thought Usher was on the playlist. My boy was in the confessions. My fucker listening to Seduction. <laughs> going to slap a nigga is crazy. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Drop the mic. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, I set myself up with that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, man, you know what's crazy, too? You got a lot of legendary pictures. We got to start with the one with you and the shorty in the championship with the with the, the confetti fall down. That's like one of the internet, like, legendary pictures. With my pictures. son? Yeah. Oh, that's what makes, that's why I can't really say, the you know, the first one was better than the second one, because um, shout out to Eddie House. When we won a championship in Celtics, his son was on the sideline. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I want this experience. Oh, that's dope. And it's crazy, man. You know, fast forward, my son was able to be with me on the sidelines during the time. You got so that picture like, in here? It's in there. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah. And to see Eddie House when his kid was killing in the tournament and see him on my side. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Like, that's people don't said I hate him. Like, man, I, you know, 
congrats, my nigga. Like, this is a great moment for you as a father, as a proud father. I know what you've done with your son and what you've been through and all type of shit. So it's like, yeah. to see that moment, a lot of people went crazy about how he reacted. But it's like, nigga, y'all don't even understand the backstory to everything. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, so um, that inspired me. And that's definitely one of the hardest pictures. Of course, I got one in my, you know, my little man cave and he got one in his room. So that's forever a moment. And he's, you know, he's, he's loving every pit of that. But a lot of people think he's 13, 14 years old now. It's like, and on the AAU circuit, it's like, man, like, I don't, the nigga is what he is. Like, he's, <laughs> he's 12. Like, <laughs> and then another crazy picture is you at the restaurant with the dude walked up with the LeBron shirt on. And then you oh. had to go to play LeBron. Did y'all ever talk about that at all? No, nah, we never spoke on that. Okay. Um, we talking about, uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one. Um, Nah, you know. Nah, I've seen a funny video. You do, you know, the dude that be trolling people come up to you and be like, hey, Chris Paul. Yeah, the nigga. <laughs> I said, that nigga, oh, that nigga oh. gonna knock you out, bro. <laughs> listen, man. Oh, shit. Crazy like, thing is, I had, I had security right outside the door because yeah. I, listen, I jetted in the shoe store. I'm in LA. I think it was even, I think it was my fucking Christmas, I think. So okay. I'm in, I'm ready to grab my son some shoes quickly in the back. I run in, I let the security stay in the front. I run out and this nigga pull up. I was like, I didn't even know who he was at the time. Well, yeah. you know, that's what he did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, obviously he caught me off guard and I didn't really want to, I knew I was on camera. So I like, you know, me, me yeah. and my character, I got I to gotta be cool what I say or how I react to this. Yeah. So you I, know, like, I let it bro, ride. <laughs> that's the wrong nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga be on there. Yeah. 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 I was in the, I was in like, well, I think I was in cool kicks or something, man. Like I said, I couldn't really move how I do what I am. But hey, man, that. That That's, moment is one of my favorite moments in NBA history. We ain't gonna speak on it too much, but I appreciated that moment very lot, man. Man, this dude here crazy. <laughs> That's so wrong with him, bro. So now these niggas was listening to Usher before the game. That's, I was nah, still nah, throwing nah, nah. back by that. I, I don't. I would have put three six mafia on your list if I had a guess, nigga. You said that trick. When I say weekends, you say. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, you know. I, I got another question. Hey, when Ray Ross and smacked Eddie House in the back of the mm. head. Mm. What, was, what did y'all say in the locker room? Man, bro? Boy. I was so pissed. Oh. oh, my goodness. I was upset when that shit happened, man. Because the crazy thing is me and Rafa got into it a couple years back, too. Okay. Shout out to Rafa. You know what I mean? My loop. Yeah. Um, a couple years back, we got into it when he was with Houston. Right? I'm talking about it was jump ball. Nigga, the ball didn't even hit the flow. As soon as the ball tipped up, me and Rafe into it, ha, 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 we in it. Damn. Tech, that both niggas. Hockey. Watch out. It was crazy. So when he did that to E House, mm-hmm. I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> like, <laughs> told you, yeah, watch out, bro. You ain't even like, I'm pissed at E. Like, nigga, you ain't fuck suspension, fuck everything, nigga. That, that's definitely, yeah. that was, I was, I was pissed. I get, obviously, yeah. again, for personal reasons, but it's mm-hmm. like, that, that was, I loved it though. I mean, fuck it, it's part of the game. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, I'll never forget that shit. Man, like, me neither. Fuck. I was mad. <laughs> now listen, you had to sneak your highlights. They ain't know how you were in the league, but y'all too, y'all gotta do a versus of y'all highlights and y'all going crazy. Nah, his crazy with him all. <laughs> nah, we talking about crazy, like which way like, was crazy? Fouling or like doing stuff. <laughs> I didn't run into some people and shit, but. Look at that nigga <laughs> trying to down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even I can't even think of that. What do you mean? Man, oh, oh is it, no, you got the some golden one, bro. <laughs> Damn. No got some highlights, bro. Oh, okay. We let a low light. Somebody behind the backpack, we talking about? Nah, we oh, okay, talking about the highlights. Nah, we talking about our low lights. Man nigga spin behind the backpack. <laughs> We talking about when you in the middle of the club, nigga. <laughs> okay, that part. Oh, okay. 